what's going on everybody welcome to another video today we're going to be covering update number five this was an update that was supposed to come out a couple days ago but because of some issues that they had they they postponed it for a couple days but i honestly didn't think it was going to come out this week but i just went ahead and refreshed it and it was there so i downloaded it it was about seven gigabytes and uh we're going to check it out Right off the back, you guys can see that there's a new landing challenge, and it is Halloween themed, so that's super exciting. Uh, that's probably what we'll do first, but before we do that, let's go ahead and pull up the release notes and see exactly what this new update has. Okay, so as you can see, it's a pretty long list. I'm not going to go over everything just because it will be extremely time consuming, but um, some of the things that I will point out are going to be things like the uh, improved sensitivity and twitchiness of control services of the TBM and the Cessna variants. So that's uh, that's actually something that I've been looking forward to. I fly the TBM 930 a lot with my joystick, and it is very, very hard to control and make little adjustments because it just throws you all over the place. So we'll get into the TBM and we'll actually test that out and see if we can notice any improvements. As you can see, a few other airplanes also got improvements. Uh, the UI is also got some updates as you can see we now have the um, or we don't have the start screen now anymore so we don't have to click any key to get it going you can just go ahead and open up flight simulator and it should go straight to your main menu uh, weather not much there installation manager you can see they're still working on some installation issues it's not something that I've had many issues with uh, but let's see what else they got uh, input they added support for the uh, quadrant Airbus edition I know people were having issues with that uh, they fixed input values when using dead zones and this is also a pretty good one right here um, you can now change the origin of the sensitivity curve and change the sensitivity value on both sides so that'll make tweaking that a lot more customizable uh, for activity the landing challenges scores have been fixed which is really good my landing scores were always were always messed up and either told me I got zero or wouldn't even let me see the leaderboard and things like that and let's see what's another major update uh, motion blur has been added so we'll go ahead and check that out turn it on and off see if we can see a difference um, you can see some lighting updates as well so let's go ahead and start with the Halloween landing challenge and then we'll also get into the TBM check how that's working and then also maybe we'll check the uh, the motion blur and see if we can see any difference there all right, so let's go ahead and get started with the Halloween challenge. Uh, looks like we're going to be flying in Transylvania. That's pretty awesome. Perfect with the Halloween theme. Uh, the weather looks awesome. Looks pretty. It looks like we're going to get some lightning and some thunderstorms. And we're in a Cessna 152. So let's check it out and see what it's like. Okay, my cockpit is incredibly dark. Oh, look at the lightning. Look at the weather. Wow. So I thought it was going to be raining, but it's just storming without rain. That sunset in the background looks absolutely ridiculous. Oh, and you can hear static. I'm guessing they added that to make it a little spooky. That's a really nice touch. Wow, I am actually very impressed. Wow, that is awesome. This is by far, I mean, it just started. This is by far my favorite landing challenge. That is so cool. I do not see the runway. God, I always forget to look at the, uh, at the map. Oh, there we go. I think I see it over over on the left side. Yep. I think I see it right there. Yep, that's what it looks like. So let me make a left turn and head back over there. Wow, the sunset looks absolutely awesome. I love the way that the lightning makes the ground light up. My gauges are really hard to see. I'm kind of... I can barely see my, my speed. I don't even see the square actually that I'm supposed to land on top of. Yeah, this doesn't look like an airport at all. I think we're just going to be landing on a field with some lights along it. I still don't see that blue square at all. Is it even there? Wait, okay, there it is. I saw it as soon as that lightning hit. Alright, cut the power out. Might be coming a little fast, but let's go bleed that speed off. Oh, the lights are pumpkins. That's so cool. And... Alright, not bad. Landed just a slightly on the left side. Look at that detail. That looks so awesome. That looks absolutely amazing. That was really fun. Wow, I got a terrible score. My ground roll says I was 51... F okay, that must be a glitch. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense. Let's go do one more because that was really fun. I'm still mesmerized by that sky. Look at those clouds. That red cloud at the very top of our screen, in the middle, that's beautiful. 
Uh, Alright, let's start slowing down. Got the runway in sight. I still can't stop looking at the sky. And the way that the ground looks whenever the lightning strikes, that's just awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and start dropping some flaps. Start slowing down. Let's see. Let's see if we can get some, some good points on this one. Since our last score told us that we are way off center line. Oop, a little twitchy there. Um, since our last score told us that we were off center line, I don't know if I got to land more to the left or more to the right. I know I landed slightly to the left, but I don't think it was as much as the score said. Give it a little bit of left rudder. The wind's not crazy in this one. I thought um, the winds were going to be beating us around, but to be honest, they're not bad at all. This is my by far my favorite landing challenge. Even if the score might be a little, a little messed up or the scoring might be a little glitchy, but let's see if we can look for that blue square. Oh, I don't see the blue square whatsoever now. Even with the lightning strike, I did not see it. Oh, it's not there at all. Okay, so I guess that's just the glitch. Yeah, it's it was definitely not there. Ooh, this is going to be a bad landing. Sorry about that. Ooh. Yeah, not seeing the square kind of threw me off, so I guess that's just a glitch. Let's see what kind of score we get on this one. Oh, that was terrible. Ground rule? See, 47 feet. I mean, we definitely were not 47 feet, so that's a little glitchy. So let's go back to the main menu, and we'll get into the TBM, and we'll test out those updates. All right, so let's go into the world map. And they added motion blur as well. So let's go ahead and knock out motion blur and the TBM all in all in one. Let's see where is it? there's the TBM. Let's just go to a random airport. I don't think they did any scenery updates in this, so we'll just pick a random airport. Right there, tell you right and we'll click fly. So I know I watched the Q&A yesterday, and they're going to be coming out with an update 6 and 7. Update 6 is uh, going to have some FPS improvements, so if that update's pretty big and has more than just FPS increase, I'll probably make a video on it, but I will for sure make one for, for update number 7 for the USA, because that one's going to have a bunch of points of interest, uh, updated airports, and also a new bush trip. So as soon as that comes out, I'll make a video on it. And uh, next week, I also got a bunch of new videos dropping, so make sure you like and subscribe if you guys enjoy the channel. Because uh, we're going to have a ton of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator updates and pretty much everything. So let's go ahead and look for that motion blur. I turned on def mode just so we can look at our FPS. Um, they are a little lower than what I remember seeing the last few days uh, before the update. I was doing more about 40, 50. So I'm not sure what that's all about. So we'll start with motion blur off. It's under uh, general settings on the first tab. And let's just move our head side to side and see. This is without motion blur. Yeah, I don't see much blur there. Uh, we're maintaining 30 frames per second. This would probably be a lot more noticeable if, uh, if we had more FPS, but I know most people aren't really doing over 40 or 50 FPS anyways. Uh, not until, you know, we get access to these new graphics cards, whether you're going to get the NVIDIA or the AMD cards. Um, also, I'd, I would like to hear what you guys have to say about that. So comment down below if you guys plan on, uh, on getting an NVIDIA card or an AMD card, or let me know if you already got an NVIDIA card. And if you regret it, or if you're happy with it, just just let me know. Um, I'm still trying to decide. I've been trying to get the 3080 and the 3090 and even the 3070 this morning, and just absolutely no luck. Um, but I am I am open to to AMD. This motion blur on is not doing much. Um, I'm not seeing a big difference. Like I said, I think we're just gonna need more FPS. Uh, maybe we'll go try it at a different airport um, with less scenery and maybe even a smaller airplane that won't take up so much FPS so we can actually see the difference. So let me go ahead and take off because I do want to check the, the sensitivity of the TBM now since it was updated. Um, I fly this plane all the time, so if there's something new with it, I'll definitely be able to notice it. A little bit of lag there. Okay, so I'm already pulling back on the stick and I can tell you instantly that if I would have made that movement before the update, my nose would have gone flying in the air. So yes, I know, I definitely see a, see a difference. Especially with the joystick, that's usually really hard to make small adjustments. 
yeah, no, I'm actually really happy with it. Um, I'm not sure about the the roll movements, but the uh, the vertical up and down are definitely less sensitive, and I think I think really improved. This is definitely going to make flying this airplane a lot more fun. Uh, so let me just go ahead and make a sharp left turn, come right back toward the runway. See if we can land it. During landing, whenever you're pulling back on the stick, that's when you really, really feel the, the sensitivity. That's usually where I struggle with it. So let's see if we have that same issue. I forget how nice of an airport this is. I need to come here more often. Yeah, so the roll still seems a little snappy, but uh, the elevator, I can definitely feel an improvement. Oh yeah, look how I'm just keeping it right over the runway before. That was a struggle. Wow, yeah. This is going to make landing this airplane a lot, lot easier. That was awesome. I can definitely say that I feel a difference, and it's a, it's a lot easier to fly. So cool update there. I can definitely see a difference. So so far, um, I like this update, even though you know there isn't much to it. But TBM's looking really good, and that Halloween challenge was pretty fun. So let's go ahead and get into a smaller airplane and a uh, different airport with less scenery, and see if we can get that motion blur to work better. Okay, so here we are at an airport with a. Uh, shouldn't be as demanding on the on the FPS let's wait for it so okay actually we're getting just slightly more FPS uh, I know this cockpit is actually pretty detailed and I am in ultra settings but let's go ahead and test it out I'm really excited for update 6 that they were talking about having much much better F FPS I think they were talking about an average of 6 to 10 FPS increase uh, with more room to grow so that's that's good to that's good to hear from the Microsoft team Let's keep an eye on the Cessna right here, and we'll use that as a reference point. So left and right, Cessna's, yeah, it's staying pretty blurry, but again, this is with a blur off. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Again, this is going to be under your graphics settings in general, under the first tab. Uh, right there, motion blur, set it to ultra. And let's see if we can see a difference. Okay, I just see a little bit more of a of a blur. I'm sure if we switch the camera to to snap at a faster speed, we might notice more of that motion blur. I've personally always been uh, not a fan of motion blur in most games. Uh, I know in the in these games, it's really going to make little difference, since I don't think many people are even getting over over 40 or 50 FPS, like I said. So I'm sure if a game where you get 120 FPS and things like that, you'll be able to notice that motion blur much more. But uh, not too impressive, to be honest with you, but. You know, that's an FPS thing. But you know what? I really want to try that Halloween landing challenge again. So let's go back. Let's go ahead and try it again. I really want to get a better score on it. Back in the Halloween landing challenge. Um, this time, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my floodlight because it's just incredibly too dark in here. Okay, at least now I can see my gauges. Slightly bright, hopefully. That doesn't make the runway hard to see. Man, that static is so cool, and so is that lightning. All right, so let me book it over to the runway again and see if I can get a better score. Let me try snapping my camera and see if we can see any of that motion. Oh, wow, look at that motion blur there. I mean, I don't think anybody's going to be turning their head that fast, but, but yeah, you can see it. You can see the motion blur. Again, I don't know how how much it's necessary for, for a simulator like this. Maybe some people will like it, maybe some won't. Um, I'll probably just keep it on medium or even off to be honest with you. I didn't see any FPS drop with it on or off, so I don't think it's going to affect your performance. It's just going to be a matter of preference. Alright, we're getting close. Cut the power out, start putting the flaps down. Wind's not that strong, but I am a little bit of a crosswind, but nothing bad. If you guys are interested in the laptop that I'm using, um, I will be making a video on it. Uh, I will tell you it has a 2070 Super in it and an i7 10 series, and it cost me under $1,600. So if you guys are interested in a really beefy laptop for a very cheap price, brand new, I'll make a video on that next week. All right, let's see. It's really hard not to look at the clouds because the scenery is so beautiful, but let's see. Turning on the floodlights definitely helping me with the airspeed. I don't see the blue square again. Where is it? Uh, I don't see it. Oh wait, yeah, I kind of do. Right 
Man, it's extremely hard to see. Oh, gosh. That was terrible. Okay, restart right now. I don't even want to look at that score. Let's start over. And I promise this one will be good. That was somehow over 1 million, but okay. Last one, and I'll end the video right there so you guys can uh, get this updated and try it yourselves. All right, last try, last try. Four tries the charm. Hopefully, since I restarted, the blue square doesn't disappear like it did the first time. All right, let's start slowing down. Approach is looking pretty good. Gauges are still kind of messed up, but at least my airspeed works. And uh, I'm just hoping that the blue square will be there. It almost seemed like that last one was harder to see the first flight we did. It was more glowing on the first flight, and also you kind of have to depend on the lightning striking at the right time to really be able to see it, because that's the only thing that lights up the ground. Other than that, it's really, really hard to see. Since I landed a little bit, um, a little bit to the right last time, and it actually made my my center line accuracy better, I'm gonna land on the right just a little bit again, see what that does. Okay, I am not seeing the blue square. Yep, I see nothing. Maybe we can get a... No, even with the lightning, I don't see anything. Okay. Well, looks like we're just going to wing it. Uh, as you can see, the, the grass a little bit to the right actually does look like more of a landing strip, but we're just going to wing it. All right, not bad. Um, that might have been way off since I didn't see the blue square, but let's see what kind of score we got. All right, 1,469,000. That is really good. Looks like that's going to put me right there in, in number four. Obviously, this is uh, this just came out. I'm probably one of the first ones to, to get this update going, but not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see. Uh, remember to add me on Discord um, so that way I can add you in the, in the flight sim and we can all fly together and things like that. I'll post the link below. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe and like the video if you liked it. Uh, I got a lot of videos coming next week, so I will see you guys in the next one.